G'day guys, this is Tia, and today is a very special video. Today's Fallout 76 guide is me showing each and every one of you amazing people how to get the highest amount of base strength humanly possible without the use of glitches or temporary boosts like chems or consumables. This video will basically serve as a guide on how to push your character's in-game strength stat to its absolute limit, like I said, without the use of glitches or chems. Now, what's the point of having high strength? I hear the newer Fallout players asking. Well, if you're running a melee build, each point of strength will increase your melee and unarmed weapon damage by 5%. So for example, if I had 25 points of strength, that's an extra 125 extra damage. Each point of strength also increases your carry capacity by 5 points. So for example, 5 extra points of strength is an extra 25 carry capacity for your character. That's pretty much all strength does in this game, so if you're a rifleman, you won't need a high strength stat. But I'm sure riflemen or heavy gunners will find this video helpful for the carry weight aspect. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, you all know my melee build Freya, the Queen Killer. If you don't, then I highly recommend clicking the video link in the top right to check her out. She's got a fucking mean arm on her. We will be using this build to demonstrate the maximum possible strength stat in this game, without the use of glitches and temporary consumable boosts. This is all vanilla and static, meaning it's in the base game and does not go away after an extended period of time. Now keep in mind that this might change once Wastelanders drops as something might come out that pushes the strength even further than what I'm able to show you guys here today. Who's to say? But for now this is the strength pinnacle of Fallout 76 and the most you're going to get out of this game. For starters, obviously you need to increase your strength tree stat to its maximum possible, which is 15. So we can use that as the starting number. This is the most static part of the whole strength guide. 15 starter strengths. The next we will go into the armor needed. Clearly we want unyielding armor and to be below 20% health to get the max effect out of this armor. So let's break it down. We need a full set of unyielding armor. That's 5 pieces of unyielding armor. Each piece gives you plus 3 strengths when you're below 20% health. All added up that's an extra 15 strength. So far we have just doubled our strength potential to 30 just by wearing some armor. But that's not all. No, 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 no. There's a third prefix to legendary armor that we can find. The unyielding, and then on top of that, there's a third star prefix. The one plus strength added on top. As you can see, I have a full set of this armor. So that adds a bonus five points of strength on top of the bonus 15, bringing us so far to a total of 35. Next, we are going to want to get Enclave Operative Under Armour and make it shielded. This will give us a plus 3 to strength, which is the most of any Under Armour, bringing us to a total of 38. Next, we will need a special legendary weapon to increase our strength further. Basically, any legendary melee weapon that has the third star prefix called plus 1 strength. As a professional fister, it is my opinion that a bloodied swing speed plus 1 strength or a bloodied pair attack plus 1 strength is the best melee prefix out there. Both are considered guard rolls. This weapon clearly brings our strength to 39. Next, we will talk about perks. There are only three perks that even have the possibility of affecting strength directly. Since we are low health for unyielding benefits, we will need to get irradiated as well. This is clearly for the radical perk. This increases your strength by 5 while below 20% health of radiation. So it is a perfect addition to our setup so far, bringing us to 44 strength. The next one kind of does not work for this guide, considering it only works 50% of the time it is ever active, so that means it's not a static effect, but I'll show it off anyway since it is a major help. I am of course talking about the solar powered perk, which directly increases our strength by 3 between the hours of 6am and 6pm, but outside of these hours it does not give the strength benefit. So, assuming it is daytime, our strength is now boosted to 47, if it remains nighttime, which it is right now, our strength remains unchanged. Next is also kind of a temporary effect, since it is only active whilst in a team. If you're a lone wanderer, then ignore this next part. But if you're frequently in a team, then this is perfect for you. Equip the mutation called Herd Mentality. This will increase your strength, as well as every other special stat, by 2 points, bringing us to a total so far of 49 strength. But, it doesn't stop there. Equipping the Strange in Numbers perk will increase this effect and add a plus 1 effect to the Herd Mentality, totaling 50 strength while you are in a team. As you can clearly see, my strength right now is 47 with all of this added up. Because it is not time currently, solar power is not in effect. But I will show it at 50 when the sun does rise. It is now 6am, so that means solar power is active and my strength is at 50. 
50 strength. As far as I know, without the use of glitches and consumables like chems or food buffs, is the highest you can possibly achieve. You can achieve 50 base static strength, assuming it's daytime and you're in a team. If you're not in a team and it's not daylight elves, you will have 44 possible strength. That's it. That's all you can achieve in the base game without glitches and consumables, with all variables considered. 44 without team and solar powered, 50 with both of those considered. So, if your goal is to be the strongest melee character you can possibly be, then this is the armor, weaponry, and perks you need to work toward getting. But, you might also be wondering, what is the maximum possible strength with the inclusion of consumables and a few tricks? So, I can answer that. I will now list off all of the food buffs that can temporarily stack to gain strength. Firstly is the Deathclaw Wellington, which gives you plus 3 strength. Then Mole Rat Chunks, plus 1 strength. Stingwing Filet, plus 2 strength. Adding all that up is a plus 6 strength, totaling so far to 56 strength. Next is the Alcohol. Unfortunately, only one alcohol can stack, and Whiskey has the most strength to gain, with a plus two to strength. But, if you equip the Party Girl slash Party Boy perk, that turns into a plus six strength, totaling a 62. Only certain chems can stack with each other, and in terms of achieving the highest strength possible, you'll want to take XL first, for a plus two to strength, and then a Buff Tats for an additional plus three to strength, totaling so far a 67 of strength. And then finally, obviously you can equip a strength bobblehead for another plus one to strength. All added up, this is 68 strength. Now remember that the extra 18 points of strength that all these buffs give you is only temporary since they are food buffs, chems, alcohol, and miscellaneous items added on to your already overpowered 50 strength. Now you might be thinking, Tyr, this is it. You can't possibly go any further. Well, yes you can if you use a stupid little trick called double unyielding stacking which will basically double the results of whatever armor you're wearing. So, in theory, if we do that to my armor, instead of plus 15 strength, it will give plus 30 to my strength. If you want to know how to do this glitch, I will link Ready Star's video on the topic right now in the top right. Adding everything all up to a grand total, all the way from the base max vanilla static strength, adding on top of that consumables and that little glitch, the max possible strength you can achieve in Fallout 76 without going into god mode, is 83 strength. So, in theory, if you do achieve this type of strength, you will have a 415% damage increase to your melee weapons and a 415 carry weight capacity increase, which is pretty fucking insane. So, to break it all down, 50 strength is the max possible vanilla limit, 68 strength is the max possible limit including all consumables, and 83 strength is the max possible limit if you include the double and yielding glitch on top of that. But if you've seen my god mode video, you'd know it is possible to get 100 strength, which is fucking stupid, they need to patch that, if they do. But if you want to know more about that video, I'll link that in the top right right now. Damn, I've linked a lot of videos today, I don't normally do that. Anyway guys, I hope you all learnt a lot about strength in Fallout 76. This is undoubtedly the pinnacle of strength, this is the one-stop shop for all your strength guides. I hope this video was a great help for whatever you're trying to use strength for in this game. That's going to do it for me guys, a massive thank you to my channel members, I cannot thank you guys enough for the support, it truly means the world. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias and join my discord, all of which we linked down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more from me, then consider subscribing. We'll catch us in the next one. I've been Tia, and welcome to Valhalla.